Did you know that you were being followed at that time? No. A detective took the stand saying during an interview, one of the suspects indicated that Pruitt was not the intended target. They thought they were going after someone else they had beef with. This had emotions running high, so the judge took a recess. And in the hallway, words were exchanged, and the victim's family got upset. Some of the defendant's family members were kicked out of the courthouse before the preliminary hearing resumed. Hey, Back in the courtroom, please. Back in the courtroom. Reporting in injuries following what Metro Police are calling a targeted shooting. Peyton Kennedy is live from the intersection of Dickerson Pike and Douglas Avenue, where police say more than 20 rounds were fired at a car last night, Peyton. And Nikel, the investigation continues this morning. We've seen a detective go into these nearby businesses and gather as much information as they can because as of right now, there are no suspects in this shooting. I also talked with employees inside of these storefronts, which include a coffee shop and a wood shop. They told me they were closed at the time of the shooting and they don't have surveillance cameras outside. Now, walking through what happened, according to police, a 22-year-old was driving a black Malibu and stopped at the red light here before 8 p.m. last night when another car approached. Witnesses tell police two people got out and started firing at the Malibu, seemingly without reason. We're told the driver was hit in the arm and there were three young children in the back seat. One grazed with a bullet and the four-year-old girl hit in the head. Police say after the gunfire, the driver continued two and a half miles up Dickerson Pike and pulled into a family dollar. And that's the video you're seeing here. Here's the latest message from Police Chief John Drake. Uh, we have witnesses that we're working with, and I hope we can solve this relatively quickly. It's just, uh, it's tragic. There's a problem with gun violence. Um, people resort to gun violence immediately. There's no arguments. There's no fights. And we never hear about a fight anymore. It's, it's straight to gunfire. And we got to figure that part out. Conflict resolution, how to get to matters without resulting to gunfire. And that tragic? The kid, that's very tragic. Told the driver is also being questioned about what happened. Stick with News 2 as more information comes forward. Live in Nashville, Peyton. A four year old child died today after someone shot her in the head. It happened last night in what police are calling a non random targeted shooting while the child sat in the car. This is News 2 at 4. I'm Mark Kelly. Kendall Ashman spoke with the witness tonight. Kendall. Yeah, I also spoke with the family of four-year-old Talia Frazier. They tell me they're still processing her tragic death. I also spoke with a witness who tells me she was at the family dollar on Diggers and Pike when she heard screaming. That's when she noticed a bullet hole or several bullet holes through the windshield of a black Chevrolet Malibu. Three miles away from the store, Metro Police say a 22-year-old driver with two-year-old twins and Talia were sitting at the stoplight here on Diggers and Pike in Douglas Avenue. Metro Police say a car drove up next to them. Two people got out of the car and started shooting. Now, Tabitha Robertson tells me once EMS arrived on the scene, she brought the mother to the hospital. And so I took her to the hospital. I never did stop to see. She had a lot of family members out there waiting. And uh, I dropped her out. But I'll tell you, when I got home, it just unnerved me so bad. I didn't even get any sleep last night. I mean, it just un shook me to my very core babies. Babies. I mean, they, these were babies. And Tabula believes the mother of the three children works at the family dollar store. Now, at this time, Chief Drake tells us this is an ongoing investigation, and they are interviewing the driver and still looking for the suspects. But Metro Police say they do believe this was a targeted attack. So if you have any information at all, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. Mark. Chaos outside a courtroom. There was a lot of yelling, tensions running high as four murder suspects appeared together in court for the first time following the shooting death of four-year-old Talia Frazier. She was killed when the car she was riding in came under fire. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen was at the preliminary hearing today. 23-year-old Trey Dennis, 20-year-old Kamari Johnson, 18-year-old Kenlando Lewis, and 19-year-old Lamarion Buchanan were brought into the courtroom. They were accused of killing 4-year-old Talia Frazier. Because I heard the shots in the windows breaking. Police say the suspects opened fire on the car she was riding in on Dickerson Pike and Douglas Avenue. Her mom's boyfriend, DeAndre Pruitt, was driving. 
wearing a long live Talia t-shirt. He took the stand. The, the car started getting shot up and I tried to pull my keys down. And I got shot up, I tried to pull my kids down, and I was trying to drive at the same time. Talia died after she was shot in the head. Pruitt's two-year-old twins were also in the car. One of them was grazed by a bullet, and DeAndre was hit in the arm. And those are the scars right there that we're seeing. Yeah, it just healed it. Pruitt says it all started when he went to buy some pills under a bridge with the kids in tow before picking up Talia's mom from work at the Family Dollar on Dickerson Pike. Did you know that you were being followed at that time? No. A detective took the stand saying during an interview, one of the suspects indicated that Pruitt was not the intended target. They thought they were going after someone else they had beef with. This had emotions running high, so the judge took a recess. And in the hallway, words were exchanged, and the victim's family got upset. Some of the defendant's family members were kicked out of the courthouse before the preliminary hearing resumed. Back in the courtroom, please. Back in the courtroom. Reporting in Nashville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. According to a detective on the stand, Lamarian Buchanan confessed that he was one of the shooters. He had to be extradited from North Carolina, where he was arrested following the shooting. Man, we back with another crazy story out of Nashville about this targeted hit on this car that had three little kids in the, inside the car. Now, this is another crazy situation because the father was driving the car. He was on his way to Family Dollar to pick up the mother of the children from her job. Now, before all of this happened, the father who was driving the car with the kids in the back seat said he met up with some guys to buy some pills, allegedly, right before he went to go pick up the mama from work, his old lady. By the time he got, got to the stoplight, shots rang off. Now, I rem remember, he had just left from buying some pills, allegedly. Now, he didn't. He said he didn't know he was getting followed. But as he got to a red light, a car pulled up beside him. He had two twins, and he had the four-year-old other baby in the, in the back seat. They get out at the red light and start shooting at the car. So it's another crazy situation because if they just met up not too long ago, the guys would have knew that it was kids in the back. That's the crazy situation. And so after they shot up the car, your father kept going. He pulled up to Family Dollar. Well, the kid's mother was. The car was already shot up. Witnesses said they heard screaming and everything like that. It was over 20 bullet shells that went through the car. Allegedly now. Kids and all that in the back seat. Babies. This another crime that don't make no sense. Where you don't care about kids. You don't care about who around you don't care about none of that. That's why I keep saying we're in our last days. When you got people not scared to kill little babies. Not scared to kill other people. And they shot the car up with no remorse at all. And at some point, I got to look at the father. Because a lot of times... People create beefs, create different type of stuff, and your family be collateral damage. Whatever you done done, whoever with you, kids, wife, mama, grandma, anything that you done done, anybody else with you at the time of a crime, it's collateral damage. They ain't have nothing to do with this. 
And like I said, it's another crazy situation because innocent people have to lose their life every day. But like I said, don't nobody caring about your kids or your family. And these kids just get a gun and start just shooting. A lot of people dying nowadays from stray bullets. And crimes that don't have nothing to do with these innocent people. In this story, in this case, innocent babies. That's how you know it's senseless people in this world that don't care about your family members, including your kids. Kids have nothing to do with nothing. But when you bring beef or you got a situation going on, the bullets don't got nobody name on it. They don't care who in your car, who in the house. And you can tell they didn't they didn't care. Y'all just met up after the fact. Now they come and shoot your car up with no remorse. But like I said, that's why I keep saying we're in our last days. You know, kids dying for no reason. You know, I don't know what the case is. But every time we continue to see and hear the same thing. Now, it's four or five alleged shooters in this case. They all done been locked up. They just had their first court appearance last week. Both sides of the family got into it at court. You know, the ones that's, that's accused of shooting a car up, I don't know why they family going back and forth with the family of, of the four-year-old. Because it don't matter who was shooting, they was all together. So they all a part of the crime. And it just goes to show you that a family member got your back no matter what. Right or wrong. And like I said, this is another crazy situation that innocent people had to lose their life over a bad drug deal. But let me know what y'all think about this crazy story. We out.